To say that the Amazon rainforest is full of life would be an understatement. The world's largest rainforest is home to countless species. Some of them are cute, while others lie on the opposite end of the spectrum. These freaks of nature are a testament to evolution, and each of them holds secret weapons of their own. What are these monsters, and do they pose a threat to human life? Join us as we delve into the 15 deadliest Amazon River monsters. Number 15. Mata Mata Turtle The South American Mata Mata Turtle is probably the most peculiar-looking turtle you've ever seen. Unlike most turtles, its carapace of shell is rough and knobby. Its physiology also features a long neck with skin fringes, bumps, and ridges. But perhaps the strangest feature of this species is its large, flat head, which features a wide mouth and a long, snorkel-like snout. Mata Matas, however, has extremely poor eyesight. To complement this fault in their physicality, they possess a number of sensory aids that allow them to detect movements in the murky waters of the Amazon River. Fleshy flaps extend from the sides of their triangular head, as well as the neck. These skin flaps help camouflage the turtle, and it also contains nerves that respond to stimuli, such as the vibrations caused by the movement of potential prey. The turtle's ears are also quite large and very sensitive to sound. Mata Mata turtle shells can grow to an impressive 1.5 feet and weigh about 38 pounds. That's about the size of an average four-year-old child. They are regarded as carnivorous bottom feeders who exhibit a unique predation method. Sitting gently at the bottom of the muddy waters they inhabit, they vacuum up small fish and invertebrates with their special hunting skills, swallowing up a mouthful of fish in one fell swoop. Number 14, Red-Bellied Piranha. Admittedly, Piranhas aren't the friendliest fishes in the ocean. This is especially true for the red-bellied species, which have earned a reputation as some of the most ferocious creatures in the Amazon River. With their sharp, vicious-looking teeth and insatiable appetite, piranhas fear no one and the sight of them strikes fear in many of their Amazonian neighbors. They also live in terrifying numbers of up to 1,000. The popular image of a swarm of these flesh-eating creatures devouring prey in a matter of seconds while creating a big bloody frenzy has popularized their reputation as fearsome monsters. Contrary to popular beliefs though, this tendency to stick together in large numbers is much more than just a hunting strategy. As a matter of fact, piranhas tend to travel in large groups as a form of self-defense. You see, as ferocious as these monsters are, they can also be susceptible to attacks from other wild beasts of the Amazon, especially when they're young. Caimans, river dolphins, turtles, and other larger fishes relish a meal of young piranhas and would often attack them for an easy meal. To defend themselves against these attacks, piranhas never walk alone. By schooling together, the most vulnerable are kept at the center of the mass so as to ensure maximum survival odds. Did you also know that piranhas are omnivores? Contrary to the propagated belief that these fishes only feast on flesh, red-bellied piranhas actually feed on a wide variety of food sources. Their diet typically consists of insects, fish, snails, worms, seeds, and various plants. They only go after larger mammals and birds after they die and are thrown into the water, so they're also scavengers. Like sharks, piranhas are equipped with special sensory organs capable of detecting the presence of blood in the water at the sight of blood, piranhas go crazy, getting into a feeding frenzy that seems straight out of a nightmare. They also possess a pretty impressive bite force, capable of piercing a silver fishing hook. Their signature teeth are, however, quite replaceable, and they've been known to shed them from time to time. Number 13, Electric Eel. Meet the bullies of the Amazon River, the Electric Eel. When darkness descends on the landscape, these fearsome creatures emerge in large numbers to attack their prey with 800 volts of electricity, enough to kill an adult human. With a typical length of up to 8 feet and weighing up to 45 pounds, these creatures are the perfect hunting machines. Electric eels are nocturnal animals which live in the muddy, dark part of the Amazon River. Because they have terrible eyesight, electric eels emit a weak electric signal. This functions as a radar to aid their navigation towards mate and food. Once a prey is located, the electric eels ignite a much stronger shock, stunning the prey. Here's the shocking part, though. Electric eels aren't actually eels. Instead, they're more closely related to carp and catfish. The shock of an electric eel has been known to knock a horse right off its feet. 
quite shocking, right? Even after eight hours of its death, electric eels keep discharging volts of dangerous energy along its tails. Local fishermen in the Amazon tell stories of catching these monsters in their nets, but by the time they pull up, every other fish in the net would have been killed from the shock of the eel alone. Unlike most electric fish, the Amazon electric eel possesses three separate organs for producing a charge. The main and hunter's organs function as the main voltage producers. They help protect the eel, partake in fright reflexes, and also help stun the prey. The SAC's organ, on the other hand, produces low voltage pulses, which aid in electrocommunication and navigation. These electric organs are composed of muscle-like cells known as electrolytes, which are aligned as cells in a battery. Up to 200,000 of these cells can be aligned in series with the organ, and these cells produce a small voltage. When discharged simultaneously, the resulting voltage can be very, very deadly. Number 12. South American Rattlesnake Of the many monstrosities that call the Amazon River home, the South American Rattlesnake is one of the most terrifying. Famed as one of the most venomous snakes in the world, this beastly being is the most widely distributed member of its genus. Its venom is most likely lethal due to the presence of neurotoxins crotoxin and crotamine, which causes progressive paralysis. Bites from the South American rattlesnake often result in impaired vision or even complete blindness. Other resulting symptoms include auditory disorders, ptosis, and paralysis of the peripheral muscles. This especially affects the neck, which can become so limp it even appears broken. In extreme cases, the victims can develop life-threatening respiratory paralysis, which eventually ends in fatality. Once these ocular disturbances set in, they're usually followed by permanent blindness. The neurotoxins can also result in extreme damage to skeletal muscles and possibly the heart, causing general aches, pain, and tenderness throughout the body. This can be followed by serious complications, systemic disorders, incoagulable blood, hypotension, and shock. In spite of their aggressive nature, though, these rattlesnakes rarely attack humans unprovoked. Their desired diet consists mainly of rodents, which are pretty much available throughout the years. However, they can also feed on lizards and other small animals. This iconic serpent of the Amazon has earned a reputation as one of the most fearsome predators of the river, with a commanding presence that strikes terror in the hearts of its prey. Number 11. Green Anaconda Meet the green anaconda, another terrifying beast of the Amazon River. With an average weight of up to 550 pounds and a length of 29.7 feet, the green anaconda is the longest, heaviest, and largest snake in the Amazon. The green anaconda maintains this massive size by feeding on a wide variety of dietary options. This includes wild pigs, deer, birds, turtles, capybaras, and even the fearsome caimans. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out here and the green anaconda isn't afraid to swallow any prey whole. They're accurately described as non-venomous constrictors, with a feeding technique that's as fascinating as it is terrifying. Picture this, an innocent deer stuck with a green anaconda tightly wound around its body. The echo of bones breaking fills the air as this unlucky prey asphyxiates and takes its last breath. It's a beautiful display of natural violence that exemplifies nature's perfect balance of power and frailty. After brutally squeezing the life out of its prey, the green anaconda then swallows it whole. No matter the size, the green anaconda extends its jaw to bizarre lengths, taking in the whole body of the prey in a single gulp. After such a big meal, the green anaconda then retreats into its safe haven as the digestion process sets in. Typically, these beasts can go weeks or months without food after a big meal. Over millions of years of evolution, the green anaconda has developed a haunting level of versatility, both in water and on land. While they can appear quite cumbersome on land, they are quite stealthy and sleek in the water. Their body physiology is perfectly crafted to blend into the aquatic habitat. Their eye and nasal openings are situated on top of their heads, allowing them to lay in wait for prey while remaining almost completely submerged. Number 10. Giant River Otter Imagine a monster so ferocious that even the largest predators of the wild quake in its presence. Meet the giant otter, the largest otter in the world and one of the deadliest beasts of the Amazon River. With a length of over six feet, the giant river otter is a skilled hunter and an apex predator. Very few adversaries are confident enough to even look into its bloodshot eyes, except for man, of course. 
Legend says that the giant otter can even grow to a shocking length of 7.9 feet, although no such record exists. Apart from their brutal personal aggression, these creatures find their strength in numbers. By their very nature, giant otters are highly sociable and extremely territorial, often living in family groups of up to 20 individuals. Don't be fooled by their cute and cuddly appearance. These beasts sit at the very top of the food chain. With a bite force of 615 PSI, giant river otters will take on any prey, ranging from large fishes to snakes, crustaceans, and other river creatures. Sometimes they hunt alone, and other times they attack in groups, killing and maiming any unlucky prey that crosses their path. Even humans aren't safe from these cruel beasts, as there have been some cases where these giant otters have dealt unimaginable damage on unsuspecting humans who found themselves at the wrong place at the wrong time. Although there are very few reported cases of giant otter human attacks, the power these beasts possess is capable of taking out an adult human. As an apex predator, the giant otter has no known natural predator, except for a few caiman attacks once in a while. In a world filled with some of the most ferocious creatures known to science, the giant river otter stands as a spectacle of brutality and a symbol of the diversity that makes up the Amazon River. Now you might be wondering, who would even hunt these ferocious beasts? Number 9. Black Cayman The Black Cayman is like an alligator on steroids. Ruling over the Amazon rainforest with an iron fist, this beastly creature can grow up to 17 feet long and weigh up to 1,000 pounds. Forget the giant otter. These are the true apex predators. Even big cats like jaguars and cougars avoid any territory the Black Cayman calls its home. However, to the giant otter's credit, there have been cases where some Black Caymans have succumbed to the ferocity of these ruthless beasts. Their enormous sizes aside, Black Caymans command a foreboding presence due to their lack of the same fear instincts present in other animals. Like the true kings of the Amazon River, Black Caymans take on any prey no matter how large, and their long list of prey is incomparable to any beast of the Amazon River. But are they really dangerous to humans? Well, according to statistics, yes. In the last 20 years, there have been over 80 reported cases of Black Cayman attacks in the Amazon rainforest. Most of them were fatal. Those who escaped did so with serious injuries, lost limbs, and a terrifying tale to tell for the rest of their lives. But the Black Cayman doesn't seek out humans when it's hungry. Instead, it prefers to take on a big meal, which may include a side dish of large cattle, main course of giant otters, some horses on the side, monkeys, pythons for dessert, boars, deer, armadillos, and pretty much anything that's unfortunate enough to cross its path. Even the dolphins of the Amazon River aren't safe from its ferocious anger. But if you thought such bravery was exclusive to the adult Caymans, think again. Young caimans have been known to make mincemeat out of piranhas, which are some of the most fearsome fishes in the river. Most preys who fall victim to the grips of black caimans don't even see them coming. These beasts are seasoned hunters, and they often hide under the night shadows, creeping close to their prey unaware before sinking their teeth into the unsuspecting victims. Their highly specialized eyes make it easy to see through the dark, enhancing their hunting experience. Then, there's the powerful bite, strong enough to shatter a turtle's shell without breaking a sweat. With such a damning reputation, it's no surprise black caimans are regarded as the terror of the Amazon River. Number 8. The Sawfish The sight of a sawfish alone strikes terror of its aquatic neighbors. This is probably due to its long snout, which is edged with special teeth, giving it a menacing appearance. This saw-like snout, known as a rostrum, functions effectively as a hunting tool. With a back-and-forth swiping motion, the sawfish utilizes this snout to cut its victim in half, making it easier to feed on. The saw also features electroreceptors known as ampullae of Lorenzini, capable of detecting electric fields produced by the prey. This way, the sawfish is able to detect the presence of a delicious delicacy before switching into beast mode. Apart from the hunting function though, the snout helps to dig through the sediments at the bottom of the Amazon River. The large-toothed sawfish can grow up to a terrifying 18 feet on average, and legend even says they can sometimes reach up to 25 feet. Shining the spotlight on their feeding habits, we uncover a menu filled with fish, crustaceans, and a host of other related aquatic species. Here's a little fun fact though. Like many toothed fish, a sawfish can actually replace its teeth once they are worn out. This process is known as polyphyodont. Although they are not generally considered dangerous, their saws, which constitute at least one-third of their body length, 
are quite formidable. Number 7. Freshwater Stingray Every year, the Amazon Stingray deals with heavy injuries on more humans than any other species. Armed with a stinger that's capable of ripping through the toughest flesh, these stingrays are a menace to the aquatic ecosystem. Each spine on the stingray has grooves underneath that contain protein-based venoms, capable of paralyzing victims. However, they aren't necessarily fierce predators. As a matter of fact, stingrays are docile and only use their remarkable weapons for self-defense. These stingers are constantly being shed and replaced. This allows the stingray to have two stingers at the same time, as the new stingers grow to replace the old ones. These special species are the only stingrays that occupy freshwater rather than saltwater. They can also grow up to 18 inches wide, with a tail measuring up to one foot in length. Freshwater stingrays feed on crustaceans and other invertebrates. Their powerful haws can easily crush the shells of clams and mussels, while also munching on shrimps and earthworms. Number 6. Toothpick Fish Although ferocious beasts like the giant anaconda and the piranha are famed as the terrors of the Amazon River, one infamous villain that's often overlooked is the toothpick fish, also known as the kandiru. This tiny catfish is one of the smallest vertebrates in the Amazon River, but is every bit as dangerous as can be. Its name is due to its small size and slender shape, which camouflages its horrific nature. Kandiru is a parasitic fish, which follows the traces of urea and ammonia that are expelled from breathing gills. Lurking in the shadows of the murky waters, its translucent body and small size ensures that none of its prey sees it coming. But as soon as these fishes exhale, the Kandiru detects the resulting flow of water. With remarkable speed, it makes a dash for the exposed gill cavity. In just a matter of seconds, this tiny parasite penetrates the gill, wriggling its way into place. After successfully penetrating the fish inside, the Kandiru erects an umbrella-like array of spines to secure its position. Then the decimation begins. Without a concern for the host's panicked thrashing, this firmly anchored parasite immediately nibbles a hole in a nearby artery with its needle-like teeth. It then proceeds to feed upon the bounty that gushes off from the fish. Within just two minutes, the Kandiru's belly is pumped full of the victim's blood, after which it retracts its gripping barbs. Although it may seem that the exploited victim has escaped, the injuries suffered are so extensive that the chances of survival are usually grim. Even humans aren't safe from this terrifying menace of the Amazon. There are many stories of people swimming or bathing in the river whose urine attracts these slender catfish. On these occasions, the submerged, exposed urethra of the humans can be on the receiving end of a high-speed attack. However, attacks on humans not only affect the victim, but they also serve as a one-way ticket for the fish itself. No list of deadly animals can be complete without mentioning sharks, and so is the case with this one. Number 5. Bull Shark Surprisingly, the Amazon River is also home to a species of shark known as the bull shark. While most shark species find their homes in several oceans around the world, the bull shark can adapt quite easily to fresh water. As a matter of fact, it is one of the only two shark species that can survive in a freshwater environment. Back in 1963, a 265-pound bull shark was caught near Iquitos, Peru, nearly 4,000 kilometers from the Atlantic Ocean. This was the first time a shark would be found anywhere apart from the ocean. Bull sharks are able to survive in such conditions thanks to their special kidneys. These osmoregulating kidneys can sense a change in the water salinity, inhibit the excretion of vital salts, and recycle them throughout their body. Bull sharks also eat literally everything from fish to turtles, birds, sloths, stingrays, and even other bull sharks. Nothing is off the menu for these ferocious beasts. Even more disturbing, bull sharks are considered extremely dangerous to humans, and they pose the greatest danger of any shark species. According to statistics, they are ranked third in terms of a number of unprovoked attacks on humans. Number 4. Arapaima this massive, sleek, streamlined fish is known as the arapaima. It has a broad, bony head, an upturned mouth, and a dorsal fin stretching along its back towards its tail. When the rivers overflow, fish can be dispersed into the surrounding Amazon forest, where most of the other species die. The arapaima, however, keeps living, owing to its unique ability to breathe air. Its gills are so small that it takes in air using a modified swim bladder, this organ opens into the fish's mouth, acting as a lung. 
Remarkably, the arapaima can survive up to 24 hours outside the water, a rare feat for any fish species. Growing up to 10 feet and reaching up to 440 pounds in weight, the arapaima is possibly the largest freshwater fish in the world. Its mouth is filled with sharp bony teeth and extra teeth on the roof of its palate. This allows them to brutally shred their prey into pieces before devouring them. Arapaimas also exhibit a peculiar fishing tactic. In order to maximize their catch, they utilize a gulper feeding strategy, which involves opening their large mouth to create a vacuum, pulling in every food object nearby. Catching an arapaima is a huge achievement for any fisherman. Unfortunately, they've been subjected to overfishing over the years. But as their population dwindles, conservation efforts are being put in place to ensure the survival of this remarkable species. Now let's talk about a couple of Amazonian creepy crawlies. Number three, the giant centipede. Picture a centipede capable of hunting down a bat, feeding on large mice, and striking fear in animals 15 times its size. This next beast is the stuff of nightmares. When you imagine monsters of the Amazon River, you'll probably picture gigantic creatures like the green anacondas and black caiman. But compared to these two, the giant centipede is quite small. However, in its league, it stands as the biggest and the baddest, often revered as the largest centipede species in the world. With an average length of up to 12 inches, it's difficult to counter that claim. As if the size was not disturbing enough, this creepy crawly packs a powerful venom capable of paralyzing prey with just a single strike. Like mine spiders, centipedes love lurking around caves. Coincidentally, that's where their favorite prey perching bats call home. Like a perfectly trained stealth hunter, the giant centipedes crawl up the cave walls and ceilings to attack these bats, taking them on, sometimes without a fight. But there's more. These monstrous crawlies take their hunting skills to the next level, launching themselves at these bats and catching them mid-flight. Their infamous venom is carefully concealed within their first pair of legs on the cranial segment. These limbs have been modified into pincer-like tools, which are known as forcipules, or more accurately, poison claws. With these natural hunting tools, the giant centipedes inject their victims with this poison before devouring them. In the wild, the giant centipede boasts a long list of prey. This includes snakes, bats, and other small invertebrates. But what about humans? Should humans be scared of this giant nightmarish being? The short answer is yes. While a bite from the giant centipede may not pose the risk of death, the pain caused by such an encounter can be quite unbearable. Other symptoms may include swellings, tissue death, and some infections which are considered clinically significant in humans. However, fatality can only occur when the victim develops a secondary infection or a severe case of anaphylaxis. Number 2. The Giant Leech The Amazon River is also home to the world's largest leech, which can grow up to one and a half feet long. These beastly beings possess a non-continuous palette and patchy coloring with the adults taking a grayish-brown hue. The nightmarish giant Amazon leech is a freak of nature, with 34 segments each with its own brain. This means that every giant leech has 34 brains, which is pretty terrifying to think about. Its powerful sucker is located at the fatter end, while the head can be found at the narrower tip. The muscles on the giant leech move in undulating waves as it eats, likely to assist in transporting the absorbed blood to the digestive system. At the head, the giant leech typically has two or three rows of small teeth, with which it sucks the blood of its victims. However, in spite of their damned reputations as real-life vampires of the Amazon River, leeches also feed on mollusks, insects, larvae, fish eggs, and other worms. However, their favorite male would be the blood of other aquatic animals. About 25% of leech species are predators. Over the course of their evolution, these monsters have honed their ambush skills and will feed on any suitable prey that swims by. As soon as a giant leech sights a moving object, it swims toward it. By utilizing one of its suckers, it attaches to the host, making a Y-shaped hole with which it injects an anticoagulant into the incision. Although they are quite small compared to other monsters on this list, giant leeches pose a huge threat to many aquatic animals, especially in the Amazon River. Number one, Payara. Gigantic fangs, terrifying eyes, and a damning reputation. A few things that make the Payara the stuff of nightmares. There are a lot of dark, creepy things that live below the Amazon River. Some of them are ugly, 
but harmless creatures that don't deserve the negative publicity they get. And then there's the Payara, which is extremely ugly and deserves its terrifying reputation. Famed as one of the craziest fish in South America, the world-famous vampire fish is a beast in its own right. With nicknames like the saber-toothed tigerfish and water wolf, it's no surprise everyone is terrified of the payara. This fish literally eats piranhas for breakfast. In addition to the sharp spiky daggers that line their gums, payaras possess two elongated six-inch long fangs that rise from their lower jaw. On their upper jaw, there are two fitting holes where these fangs are suitably lodged. Terrifying looks aside, payaras are also built for power and speed. Their fan-shaped caudal fins help them swim through choppy currents and rapids, while their bony faces hide large gills. Vampire fishes can be quite large, measuring between 2 to 3 feet. Their weight can also reach a staggering 35 pounds, and in some cases, up to 40. Talk about aggression. These fierce hunters are always on the prowl for their next meal. But that's not the craziest part. Payaras have also been known to chase off medium and large-sized fish that they don't intend to eat, so the water can be clear enough for the fish they do want to consume. They are, however, very territorial. By their very nature, they hate being crowded. They will threaten, charge, fight, and even kill any species that finds its way into their territory. Payaras also have no known predators in the wild, which shouldn't come as a surprise owing to their ferocious nature. Their menu list includes other fishes, including the much-feared piranhas, which often turn and run at the sight of an attacking school of payaras. So it's safe to say their terrible reputation is not unfounded.